Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Riverton Bay. In today's episode we're going to be working on this uh, custom sunken down um, train station um, and just work a little bit around this train station as well. Um, sort of get into I guess a little bit more urban uh, sort of things for this project because uh, we've been pretty much up until this point working on more like suburban kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we're sort of getting into um, to more, I don't know, yeah, I guess urban stuff. <laughs> uh, but I'm using these uh, these new railroad uh, or uh, or train tracks, uh, the North American Railroad project, I think. Um, and yeah, this is just awesome. Um, this has been in the works for a long time, apparently, and uh, and yeah, I, I've seen some uh, some screenshots and stuff from uh, from Tim the Terrible. Um, I don't know, probably a, f a few months ago, uh, I think he posted some screenshots, and I thought it looked really cool and stuff. But um, I wasn't really working on anything American uh, then. But uh, now that I'm working on this, this just came at a perfect time. The release um, of these. Uh, train tracks um, because I was actually planning on doing like the train station a little bit earlier in this project um, maybe like in episode 2 or something uh, but I decided to just like work on suburbs and, and that whole area instead uh, but uh, yeah I, I sort of you know uh, wanted to get into working on this train station and these train tracks just got released at that point uh, which is really good timing um, so yeah, that's pretty exciting, uh, but they look amazing and um, I'm very excited to, to use these train tracks. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a weird train station. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, this is going to be a sunken train station um, and it's not really going to, I don't know. Yeah, this is just going to be very different from what I've like ever done. Um, so I wanted to have like a, a pretty modern train station um, and I kind of wanted it to be sunken down but still not like completely underground so you didn't see anything uh, because I still think it's pretty satisfying to be able to see the trains pulling into the, the station and that kind of stuff. Um, so I still wanted to have a bit of the train station open. And I don't know how common this is for like a train station to be sunken like this, like underground, but still have uh, a pretty big part of it, you know, visible. Um, so yeah, I don't know how common that is, but I don't really care <laughs> because, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily basing this off of anything. Uh, I just want to go with stuff that I think is, is cool and interesting and fun to do. Um, so yeah, I just had this idea to make a... Uh, half underground train, sta train station, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm using this one. This, there are six tracks here, uh, which I think is pretty decent for this this city. And, um, and yeah, I'm using this new building by Ronix uh, on this corner. And I guess this would sort of act like the train station uh, main building, the main building for the train station. And I just really love that building by Ronix. It looks really, really cool. Um, so I'm sort of seeing that as the main train station building, I guess, for this. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this turned out fairly interesting. Um, I'm... I didn't do actually a whole lot in this episode uh, because I was really just trying to figure stuff out. Um, so yeah, I, I really would have wanted to fill out more stuff around so you can get some even better screenshots and that kind of stuff. But I just didn't really know uh, what type of buildings I want to go for, uh, like in the whole downtown area and that kind of stuff. I know the skyscrapers that I want, but like the buildings that are not skyscrapers. Uh, I still need to figure that out. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I don't do too much progress in this episode. And thus the episode being a little bit shorter uh, this time. But yeah, I was just trying to figure stuff out. And <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, I've not forgotten uh, because in the last episode, which was quite a few weeks ago, um, <laughs> but uh, I asked for some, some story suggestions for that abandoned lot uh, that we did in the end of that episode. And we've got a cool story to um, to feature in this episode. So I want to uh, get into that segment now and take a little bit of a break from the time lapse. So enjoy some some good old vibes from Barrisville with some with some storytelling in the episodes. So yeah, enjoy that. Mm -hmm. 
the lot was owned by Morris Ferries and he had a shop where he sold his own cars. Ferries Automobile Town. In the 1960s and 1970s, Morris Ferries became the richest man in his neighborhood of Juniper Village. In the 1980s, he took his cars to Riverton Bay Automobile Show. He was competing for $200,000 and a chance to make his cars a brand. He lost to the newcomer Richie McSmoo. McSmoo came from a line of rich Rivertoners. These McSmoo's built tons of places in Riverton Bay, including crazy subdivisions. The McSmoo's came to Juniper Village and built their state-of-the-art McSmoo car arena in 1993. The McSmoo cars were faster, cheaper and overall better than Ferry's cars. Tons of Juniper Village residents went to the McSmoo car arena to buy cars. Morris Ferris was no more and in December 16, 1997, Morris Ferris was found dead in a fire that destroyed his car dealership. Police found out that the McSmoo's killed Ferris, so he wouldn't try to retaliate or overtake the McSmoo's in business. This started the four-day Juniper riots in 1998, which resulted in the destruction of the Juniper car arena, now a target. This story was created by my name is Adam and I just wanted to say a big thank you to you for creating this story. Uh, it was really cool getting back to some more storytelling in these videos uh, like we did back in the day in Barrysville. Uh, but also thank you to everyone else that suggested stories. Um, I'm sure we're going to do a lot more of this uh, in future episodes. So hopefully y'all are looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, thank you. My name is Adam for this one. And let's get back to the time lapse. So right now I'm working on this little uh, bus stop right over here uh, next to next to the train station and I first wanted to go for like a bigger uh, bus station um, but I couldn't really find any good um, building that I wanted to use for that. There are some vanilla ones um, but they just looked pretty weird in terms of how close the building is to the actual bus stops. Like it seems completely unrealistic that a bus would actually be able to <laughs> to even like turn there. 
Um, in case you're not, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I think it's the new uh, bus stations from the Sunset Harbor DLC. Uh, but yeah, those were just a little bit weird, um, so I decided not to do a bigger one for for this episode. But I might just do um, uh, that in a later episode. Uh, on the other side of the um, on the road or something so yeah uh, I think we're definitely gonna get some bigger bus station I do want to have that because we do have a bus depot uh, now in the city uh, that I did in a live stream uh, like a week ago um, in case some in case some of you didn't watch that one uh, I'll include some cinematics of that bus station or not bus station bus depot in the in the end uh, of this video uh, but yeah so we're definitely gonna have to have some sort of bigger bus station somewhere. Um, but yeah, so this episode, unfortunately, I didn't do a whole lot of progress, actually. Um, I just have some trouble figuring out how I wanna do the the downtown for this city. Um, I'm not sure if I should go for like a more, um, more like old style buildings, for example, the ones by Darth. Uh, they do look really good, but I don't know if that is what I want to go for, uh, for the downtown. I mean, I want to have pretty modern skyscrapers and stuff. I have down downloaded uh, quite a lot, or pretty much all the skyscrapers that I want to use, I think. Uh, but I just don't know about the filler buildings, I guess you could say. Uh, the buildings that are not skyscrapers, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know if I should go for like an older style or if it should be more modern, and if it should be more modern, I don't know what type of buildings I should use for that. So yeah, I'm just having some problems figuring out exactly how, how I want the downtown to look. Uh, but yeah, for the skyline, I probably wanna go for some sort of Miami uh, skyline. I don't want it to be an LA skyline, uh, but I'm thinking more of like a spread out skyline, uh, like Miami. Uh, I, I think that would fit pretty well for the area that I'm planning to have um, the skyline in. Um, so that's sort of my plan for that. But yeah, I, I just am not sure what type of buildings I want to have um, surrounding all those skyscrapers. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions about that or any uh, thoughts about that, please comment that. <laughs> because I'm really unsure of how I should do all of that. So that's pretty much why I didn't do a whole lot of progress in this episode. Plus, it also took some time to try and figure out how I should do this train station. Because in the beginning, I was trying to find uh, like good train station buildings um, on the workshop. And that was something similar to what I did in this, uh, in this episode. But I just really didn't find anything that I liked. So I ended up just doing it all myself <laughs> and making a completely custom one. And, um, and yeah, these train tracks just came out perfectly. Uh, perfect timing for these to be released um, But yeah, and um, I'm placing down some taller buildings here um, But yeah, I'm just briefly getting into the the downtown here and this new building which is really cool uh, I believe this one is by Ronix as well, and that's a pretty cool like office building um, But yeah, I, I really need to figure out the whole downtown situation and What I want to do with that but I think this whole train station area turned out pretty interesting. Um, definitely something different. Uh, like there isn't really, well, there there kind of is. There is that building uh, on the corner there, but there really isn't any like big main cent like station building, I guess, uh, for this. Um, but yeah, I'm just imagining that there was some like older train station here back in the day, and then they just decided to. To put it underground or like half underground, I guess, um, sort of like they did with the the Penn Station in New York City. Uh, I know that that was like an old cool train station, and then they just made everything underground. And apparently, it's really boring now. I've I've just been to Grand Central. I haven't been to that one, but it's sort of the same story there. But at least they have the nice building left there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm guessing that it would be some sort of thing like that for this city. Uh, for this city as well, um, but yeah. All right, so this episode is kind of getting to an end. This was a pretty short one, um, but uh, at least we had that storytelling segment, uh, which which I do enjoy. Kind of brings back some memories from from Berrysville. Uh, but yeah, I did enjoy that. 
So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to leave it here and uh, we'll see uh, what we do in the next episode. Hopefully we get into the downtown, uh, but yeah, I just really need to figure that out. Um, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, and I don't know if you should follow me on Instagram because I still haven't uploaded anything new there. So, yeah, uh, there will be a link in the description, but yeah, who knows? <laughs> Uh, Alright, so until the next episode, have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.